Have you ever had to fill a form in, part of which asks, what is your religion? Then, as a result of being asked that question, you tick the box marked Christian, or Church of England, or whatever, simply because you were once christened, or think that it's simply what you should put, even if you don't believe a word of it. Many people have, and still do. In 2011, the census forms will be sent around to all addresses in the UK to gather information on the population and, once again, one of the questions will be, what is your religion? Here at Atheism, we want to get a true picture of non-belief in the UK and we are encouraging people who do not follow any religion or believe in any God to say so and tick the box marked, no religion. Nobody should owe allegiance to a religion simply because of the society in which they live claims it is part of the culture, as is the case with Christianity in the UK. Every one of us who was christened as a child was too young to understand or object when their parents took them into a church, had water splashed over their heads. We want people to be true to themselves and not to inflate the number of religious people who claim irrational faith and beliefs and demand undeserved privileges because of it. So here at Atheism we say, don't believe it, don't tick it. And when asked your religion, tick the no religion box. In recent years, you may have heard of reports of people who object to being asked their religion in such forms and have jokingly decided to rebel by giving their religion as Jedi or some other pseudo religion. While this shows a sense of humour and may give some temporary personal satisfaction, it actually inflates the number of people who are counted as being religious and reduces the number of genuine non-believers. The more that atheists stand together to be counted, the greater influence we will have to combat the false claims and undeserved privileges of the religious institutions. So, what can you do to help? Number one, tick the no religion box yourself when your census form arrives, and don't let anyone else complete it for you. Two, talk to your friends and family about it. They may listen to you, and if they are non-believers who used to tick the religion box, they may change their minds too. 3. Do not complete the any other religion box as this just adds to the number of people who are counted as being religious. 4. Write to your local newspaper or radio station and tell them of your intentions and why. This will spread the word that it's acceptable not to put down a religion you do not believe in. 5. Blog about it. The internet is a powerful tool in spreading messages such as ours. Entries on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter stating your intentions will encourage others to do the same. 6. Respond to criticism of religious people who complain about this. After all, what have they got to hide? Why do they want to inflate their numbers? 7. Come out as an atheist. Be proud and be public that you embrace critical and rational thinking. And 8. Join atheism and make a stand to help all atheists have their voices heard. Join us at www.atheismfront.com